What up, y'all? This is Ethan Spalding, and this is What's the Motivation? What projects have I worked on and what, what projects I'm about to put out? Um, I've worked on, uh, all again, um, well, I mean, so back in the day, when I first started rapping, was up in Massachusetts in school, um, like battles and all that stuff, and then you won, and I won battles, like back to back to back, I was battling at that time, it was like eight mile time. Uh, you won like studio time a lot of the time, so that's when I first started going to the studio. Just went in there and started recording with, with my man DJ Crush, uh, of Massachusetts, man, and that, that was tight, that's what started like the whole thing, he was like, you ever, you know, you like, what song you got? I was like, I don't got a song, I be rapping, you know? <laughs> And then uh, he was like, you know how to put together a verse or whatever? And I was like, nah, like, <laughs> I was like, nah. And then kind of like, but I could rap. I kind of felt it. I felt, I felt like where the drums, because I played the drums and everything, I really felt where the, where it would stop and where the verses would stop. But I, I didn't know exactly what. So then I kind of just uh, really zoomed in on that. But that that's why I think I have a real, I, I have a real understanding of, writing songs from playing drums, from being able to play drums, so there you go. Having that rhythm, I think, you know. Why so I went up to Massachusetts was because of um, sports and everything. I think sports and rhythm have a, you know, go together well. You know, that's another thing. Just kind of transition from sports to music. And same thing like people watching you on you know, basketball court, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that you know, feeling when you yank somebody in the game and like, oh, or like, you know, whatever, and you're like, ooh, and everybody like, oh, it's the same shit when you go out and, well, no, it, performing actually is even better feeling, but it's similar. And then same thing in the rhythm of defense, the rhythm of, you know, and I don't know, I think it goes together, so it's natural. Uh, yeah, so I used to be called Ecstasy and everything up in school, so I did like three songs with DJ Crush, put them out. That was vicious out in the school, man. Just everybody, we love these songs. We, we would party like crazy. It was so dope. So that's what just started my whole thing, man. Man, so that was like ecstasy. It was like, uh, I, for, I forgot the name. I even forgot to uh, keep it tight. Keep it tight. And then it went, my name changed to like franchise and franchise pimp. When I came out with franchise pimping and all this shit, man, it changed it. And then that's why, and then went to Bottle Says Five. So I was in a band, Bottle Says Five album. Ventured off from there to the Violet Rocker uh, mixtape series, the Champagne Weed and Bubblegum, um, and went from there to I Am Ethan Spalding, which was just introducing basically my myself musically all this time. I've been through all these things, all these people I was always writing. So I was like, man, I, just want, I am Ethan Spalding, my government name. And so just wanted to tell people that. So I went Ethan Spalding after that. Um, did Beef and Broccoli with Authentic. Uh, back in the day also, put that out. But uh, and then Gucci Cobain is the newest thing that I just put out. Um, that's just a, a five song EP. And, and uh, so Gucci Cobain 2 is coming out. Uh, Barry Windham's coming out. Barry Windham is um, basically the old, is a wrestler from back in the day uh, with like Ric Flair and all them and Four Horsemen. And, it's just like dope, like the music at that time, you know, we're kind of, it's not, it's not too, too old school or anything, but it has a vibe like that where, you know, bringing back some things at that time. And he just had, you know, blind hair and stuff like that. And he was like a pimp a little bit, like the ladies liked him back in the day. He was crushing bad, he, he actually whooped Rick Flair's ass first. And then, uh, but anyway, yeah, so that's coming out. That's produced actually by uh, A.B. Uh, Aline Blau and uh, Los, you know, my man Los. That's about to be vicious. That's just another album that's coming out. And um, Honey Buns, man. I mean, Honey Buns and and um, and Panda Land. Honey Buns is a single of Panda Land, which is just a fun song. Video's out right now. Um, so check that out. But it's on YouTube. Honey Buns. And then, uh, yeah, Panda Land. And then the, the goal with that is just to reach every kid, man, to go to all the schools. Uh, man, there's so much, oh, Trap Rock and all, oh yeah. 
And then I put out Trap Rock and, you know, Trap Rock album, Trap Rock live album. Um, that's out there also. Um, and, yeah, man. So it's just a lot of stuff. But, but yeah, but the Panda Land, yeah. Going, we have a panda in the band. That's what. That's why it's called Panda Land, too. And I forgot to explain that. But we, we've had a panda the whole time since Violet Says Five back in the day. All the way to now, we've had a panda mascot in our band. Um, and shout out to Lowe, shout out to Mike, shout out to LD. These are the three pandas that's been along with us this whole time. Only three different pandas out of all these years. So, um, shout out to them. But it, it's awesome, man. It's an awesome gig. You basically partying like crazy. And we turn up like crazy. Big mascot, human size, everywhere. Giving hugs, giving love, partying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Trap rock. And uh, so the goal with the Panda Land is to be able to just to go to all these schools. And because Trap Rock songs are kind of 15 and above, I'd say. 15 years up and above. <laughs> so I wanted to reach a younger audience. That's another reason why. And feel good about putting it out anywhere and letting any kid hear my stuff. Um, I wanted also to make something like that. So. It's crazy how the songs came about and all that, and the book and everything. But it's, it's all positive and great. Um, the song, Be a Good Person Overall, uh, is a key song in there because I, I thought about everything. Like a lot of people I know, a lot of friends and everybody that I grew up with and just folks, a lot of people didn't grow up with a, a father, you know what I mean? And I, I did, and, and you know, God bless that, and him. And I learned some like one-liners from him, a lot of like, and I wanted to think about every one of those I could put in this this song, like like look at people in the eye, like give them a firm handshake, look them in the eyes when you give them a firm, you know, if you start a job, finish a job, you know, uh, you know, uh, you, you know, all that all that type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like take the trash out, help a lady across the street, like you know, good morals, you know, all those things, you know, what I mean that that pops tell you, man, be a good person overall, man, just. Uh, Spreading that message, man, uh, everywhere and being able to go everywhere with the panda, and it's, it's gonna be dope, man. And, and it's a adventure, adventure, and uh, that I, I can't wait to get to. And so look out for that honey buns and that trap rock music.com. Get all that, yeah. Holla at me, Ethan Spalding.